Welcome back. Bruce Porter joins us now for this week's Dollars and Cents segment. Good to see you. Good to be here. I always like a guy who brings me a house. Yeah, there you go. All right. So this I'll give you a house. Give me a house. He's the best. He's so <laughs> generous. All right. This has something to do with today's question. That's right. And here it is. Interest rates seem to be much lower for home mortgages. When does it make sense to refinance for a lower Good question. Interest rate. I would think any time would be good for that, but maybe not. Well, it depends. It depends on what your objective is. Sure. Are you trying to save money on your mm -hmm. monthly payment? Are you trying to create some flexibility? I mean, that could be a big option as well. There's two basic types of refinances. Mm -hmm. Uh, what they call a rate term refinance and a cash out. Uh -huh. So if we look at rate term, it's exactly that. We're trying to get a better rate, mm -hmm. which hopefully is going to lower our payment. And then term, if we've got a 30-year mortgage and now financially things are better and we want to shorten that to a 15-year and refinance okay. it for a better rate, we might have a higher payment, mm -hmm. but we're going to pay it off quicker. Yeah. Rate term financing when you're taking the, the loan you've got, trying to get a better rate, mm -hmm. uh, the objective is to try to get a lower, a lower payment. payment. Mm -hmm. So that's why people generally do that. Now, okay. on cash out, uh, if you've got other consumer debt, mm -hmm. it's always a good thing if you've got equity to do uh, a cash out refinance. Okay. And then the objective, you don't eliminate the debt. You got to remember that. You stretch it out, but financially you create a more a uh, better environment for you because you lower your overall payments by doing that. Now, granted, you could cash out, buy a car. That would be better than using the car as, as the collateral because okay. at least you can mm -hmm. deduct some interest mm -hmm. and things like that. But the thing you got to remember about cash out financing is if you're consolidating debt, you don't eliminate that debt. You're stretching it out for a longer period. Yeah. So we got to be mindful of that. So again, if you're trying to save on monthly by doing a cash out and consolidate, that's great. But you got to remember the debt doesn't go away. The it's debt there. Doesn't go away. Is that for people in with pretty serious bills to pay, pretty serious debt, or anybody? could be? I mean, I've seen people uh, save a thousand a month mm -hmm. on their consumer debt just by throwing the the debt onto the. A home equity line of credit really? type, and it saves them. But instead of a thousand a month paying it off in three or four or five years, you got it stretched out over 15 or 20. So obviously, it's going to save you monthly expense, but, but it does not eliminate the debt. Now, other reasons if you got an adjustable rate mortgage, mm -hmm. which a lot of people got a few yeah. years ago, now's the time. Now's the time to get out of that. Rates are at all-time lows. Right. Now's the time to lock in, a, a, get a 30-year note. You don't have to keep it for 30 years. You can always modify it yourself by doubling your principal payment and accelerating the repayment mm -hmm. of that debt. But if you stretch out a 30-year note with a lower payment mm -hmm. and a lower interest, you can always control how much you pay extra, and if times get tough, you can fall back on that lower payment, and it'll help you financially uh, weather a storm that might right. be on the horizon. Now, divorce settlements, a lot of times people mm -hmm. have to refinance because sure. of that. Another trick to trying to save money and mm -hmm. things like that, if you have PMI insurance right. on your old mortgage, mm -hmm. Take a look. If you've got that 20, 25 percent equity position, you may be able to refinance and eliminate that PMI. Get or rid that, of that. Or the, uh, what they yeah. call also FHA mortgage insurance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You might be able to eliminate that, which may not save you a lot, but it might save you 50 or 75 bucks a month. So I would do that. Now, to be specific about when's the best time to refinance, mm -hmm. well, you got to compare closing cost versus monthly savings and how long to recapture. Because it is going to cost you something to refinance. So let's say you got, well, it could. There's a lot of offers right now that are uh, like 4% fixed, 30-year, no points. No points, okay. And that's mm -hmm. a good deal. I also found 4.3%. Uh, $700 in fees and one point. So that's not as good a deal. Mm -hmm. So when you're looking at the refinance, if you've got $3,000 worth of cost mm -hmm. to do it and it's going to save you 100 bucks a month, it's going to take you 30 months to recapture. Yes. So if you're going to sell your house in that period, don't do it. But if you're going to keep your house long term, it would probably make sense to do a refinance. But it's all about how long is it going to take you to recapture what you're going to 
have to put possibly in it exactly. to make it work. And I think it's also all about someone who can help you crunch the numbers because it's worth it to do sure. that because you need to do the math. He is at the Resource Center.